Preston the duty your first game? I mean, how did it feel? How would you grade yourself? Um, I felt like, I mean, basically the main thing I wanted to do was protect the quarterback all the times, help the team out, and uh, whenever you get a chance to get the ball, find the hole that the linemen are making for me and hit it. But overall, I think, uh, or I think I did an okay job with blocking and running and I mean from here I, was, I mean that's my first I mean even though it's my first experience I can still gain from it which I did gain a lot from it, a lot of experience and uh, just use it for the next game and next competition and work up from there. Uh, that's pretty much the deal with you isn't it? Game after game you learn each game and progress from there. Is that how you're looking at it? Yeah just, just uh, keep learning new things. I mean you see new things every uh, play and then uh, the more you see it, the more you hope to get used to it, used to different blitzes, used to different formations, and it's just going to help me get better. Does it help you know going in knowing that you'll be the guy? Um, I mean, nah. I mean, they, it was pretty much the same. It's basically next. We call it next yeah. pony up. I mean, you basically got to be ready, be ready to go every down, even if there's a guy in front of you. So going into your first start. Are the emotions or your thoughts anything like your first start at Oxford? Do you remember your first start at Oxford? Uh, my first start, I think it's pretty much the same emotions. I mean, back at Oxford as a ninth grader, going into varsity game, pretty much ner I was nervous. And then in here, freshman going to, uh, I mean, uh, college game. I mean, the same nerves, but I love it. I just you never have feelings like that. I mean, it's a great feeling, and I uh, just can't wait for the next game to get nervous. I mean, that's not nervous. It's more more excitement too. And, so it'll be fun. Is it any easier coming off the bench for your first hit, your first play, your first block, rather than having a week to think about starting? Um, I mean, watching Trey, in the, I mean, it's probably, I don't know, it'll probably be the same because watching Trey in there, I kind of see like how they blitzed and I was watching their defense as he's playing. And then once I got to go in, I kind of saw what they did and what kind of blitzes they ran against Trey. But now I was going to the next game. I mean, I just watched a lot of film and, do as best as I can. Well, with his axe success here, and you you committed really early, didn't you? And so how much did you know about this offense and stuff like that when you got by the time you got here? Uh, I think I knew a lot about it. Yeah. I mean, Zach was here four years before I was, so kind of watch all his games and come down here all the time, see some of his practices. I mean, I kind of knew a lot about the offense and what, what they're going to do. I mean, you have a good sounding board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for your position, don't you? Yeah, I mean. Definitely. He was here the other night. Did he say anything to you after your first touchdown or after your first game? Uh, Critique your performance? Yeah, he, he just gave me nucks up and said congrats on your first TD in uh, the NCAA. Which is, it's pretty cool. Are you surprised he made the roster in Minnesota? Uh, Zach, given the hard worker he is and how, I mean, how much heart that guy has, I mean, I'm not surprised that Megan, he's, uh, I mean, he gives all his heart out and I mean, he's a, I mean, he's gonna give his best every play. Are does. you actually gonna be able to root against the Lions now? Uh, you guys are pretty loyal to all the Michigan teams, right? Yeah, I think I can root against the Lions this time. They versus them. Everyone has said since you got here, you kind of look like him. Obviously, you share the family name. How are you different from your brother as a runner? Um, uh, from Zach as a runner, as of right now, I, I gotta work a lot on my mobility. And on my agility, I got to get side to side fast. Where Zach's pretty good at that at the moment. He's been had a lot of experience against like corner. I mean, the second level and how to juke out all the guys on the next level besides the D lineman. And I just got to work on that. And keep going through. Where I'm probably more straight up runner than Zach was more side to side. What about, what about Traylon Shedd? He's, I guess, an inch or two taller than you. But is there a significant difference in your running style with him, or the plays that this offense can run with him? I think uh, Trey is more of a speed back, and he, he's, he'd be a power back too. I think Trey has all. I'm just, and then I, I got the power, and I, I mean, I can get those short yards and other, maybe more come a come future. I can work on more of my, uh, like I said, agility and get to that next level where I want to be at. Where Trey's, Trey's a fast guy, and he's gonna outrun some dudes. How much film have you seen of Montana State? Um, just. We we're gonna watch. I mean, just passed yesterday, and probably a couple hours already. And now we're gonna watch it today as well. Anything jump out at you off their film of what's impressive about their defense? Um, 
I think as of right now, we basically look at what position each guy, how much, I mean, what kind of figure is there. I mean, right now is right now. I, I don't think I just formation. That's all I got so far, and how we're gonna go against that formation, where the blitzes are coming from. So I haven't really looked at the guys on specialty. Is that harder to prepare when it's a team that's not on TV every week and you're not as familiar with their personnel or their coaching staff? Um, I don't think we get film of them. We, I mean, we just we have our defense that can sometimes play their formations, and we have pretty good defense that can pretty much do a lot of other teams' formations that can do it real well. So I think our defense gives us a great look.